Even though we human beings don't get along with each other, some animals seem to simply love us. Domestication of animals has gone on for thousands of years now, and there are certain kinds of work which we still can't do without our trusty animal friends. While we are all aware of the special bonds shared between humans and dogs, cats, cows, pigs, elephants, horses, poultry birds, etc., today's video isn't just about them. Here, we'll talk about 12 unlikeliest human-animal friendships in history. So, without further ado, let's get going. Number 12. Hercules the Human Bear This extraordinary love story between couple Andy and Maggie Robin with a grizzly bear cub began in 1976. Andy purchased this bear from a Scottish zoo by paying 50 pounds. Andy, who was a wrestling world champion, soon began sparring and training with the bear, named Hercules. They became quite famous in the late 1970s and 1980s. It is estimated that their invaluable bond and friendship were seen by 15 million viewers on the World of Sport program. Hercules became the talk of the town when he went missing on Bimbacula in August 1980 during the filming of an advertisement. The story of the missing grizzly bear for 24 days was picked up by the national and international media. He was eventually spotted by a crofter, who tranquilized the animal and then a chopper flew Hercules back home. Number 11. Kojak, the Fat Indonesian Crocodile Well, we have heard of people taming elephants, horses, and even tigers. But in this strange story, let us introduce you to Kojak, a pet crocodile of Indonesia. The story of Kojek is quite different from other exotic pet animals. Its owner, a man named Erwan, saw a group of young boys irritating a 10-centimeter baby crocodile one day. He could not tolerate this gruesome sight and rescued the helpless creature. But rescuing the croc wasn't easy, and he paid 20,000 rupiah to those mischievous kids to take the croc off their hands. From that day onwards, Kojek lived in Erwan's home and became a part of this family. The crocodile lived in the lap of luxury eating around 2 kilograms of fish every day. Even though there were reports of the animal also eating a couple of neighborhood cats, everyone in the locality knew him to be a docile creature. He weighed in at 200 kilograms when Indonesian government officials finally relocated Kojek, as keeping a crocodile is illegal in the country. Number 10. Mary Thorne and her pet alligator, Rambo well, as much as this story may sound imaginary, it's all very true. Mary Thorne, a resident of Florida, has domesticated an alligator and virtually treated him like a pet dog. Her affection is unique because she allows the gator, Rambo, to stay inside her home and wear clothes and ride ATVs. Rambo is a gentle alligator who eats at the dinner table, sleeps in her bed, and follows Mary around like a dog. He also wears a pair of sunglasses. All in all, this is one gator that surely thinks it's a person. Even Mary claims that Rambo is like her best friend and her second son. According to her, the gator is extremely friendly and loves to play with dogs. He is even intelligent enough to go to the fridge when he wants something to eat. Oh, and he watches television just like we do. But keeping Rambo at home hasn't been easy. Mary had to petition the Florida government to get a special permit for her strange pet. But today, Rambo is somewhat of a local celebrity, who has also taken part in several small shows and charities. Number 9. Toldo, the Gift-Giving Cat We all know cats make incredible pets, but did you know just how loyal your loving cat friend can be? Meet Toldo, the cat that visits his owner's grave every day without fail. But that's not all. The cat brings various gifts to its former master's gravesite. These gifts may include leaves, paper handkerchiefs, twigs, and much more. His actions have made him a sensation throughout Italy. Renzo, who was Toldo's original owner, passed away in September 2011. The cat even followed the funeral procession to the cemetery. The next day, Renzo's son witnessed Toldo standing guard over the grave, as if protecting its owner even in death. Now that's what we call a loyal friend. Number 8. 5,000 Mile Walking Penguin Love does not have boundaries. That is perhaps the truest statement for a penguin called Din Din, who swims more than 5,000 miles to meet fisherman Joao Pereira de Souza every year. In 2011, this little South American Magellanic penguin was covered in oil and was struggling on a beach. Joao rescued the penguin and fondly called it Din Din. He also cleaned the bird's feathers and fed him. After a week of rehabilitation, Joao decided to release the penguin back into the wild, but by then, Din Din formed a close bond with Joao. 
The penguin now spends around eight months in a year with Joao, and the rest of the year on the Patagonian coasts of Argentina and Chile. In an interview, Joao said that Din Din is like his child and believes that the penguin loves him very much. No one else is allowed to touch him. Number 7. Hollywood legend Tippi Hedren's love for big cats Tippi Hedren is mainly known for just two reasons, her career as an actress in Alfred Hitchcock's movies and her unparalleled fascination for keeping lions and tigers as pets. It is believed that at one point of time in her life, she kept 150 different big cats to film her movie Roar. In her younger days, she welcomed a pet lion named Neil, and its photographs were published in a 1971 magazine. In her memoir, she described Neil as both fascinating and hilarious. Hedren also said that Neil gave the family lessons in Lions 101. They learned to translate Neil's sounds, facial expressions, and gestures. But tragedy soon struck her family. During the shooting of the film War, which co-starred her former husband, Noelle Marshall, many of her crew members were seriously injured due to attacks by her big cats. Despite this, her granddaughter and actress Dakota Johnson says she continues to live with 14 lions and tigers to date, and her love for big cats has stayed the same. Number 6. Beluga Falls in Love with Zookeeper This story proves that even aquatic animals can fall in love. Meet Tina, a female beluga, who is said to have a crush on one of the male zookeepers. Sounds hilarious, right? But it's all true. Her infatuation for her favorite zookeeper is so intense that she even spat on a female worker out of jealousy. Many staff members of this South Korean aquarium claim that Tina didn't like that a female worker was standing too close to her favorite male worker. In her earlier years in the aquarium, Tina found it difficult to adjust. She was surrounded by strangers as the environment was new. During this time, the male worker helped Tina to adjust to this phase. Subsequently, he gave her attention and training too. Thereafter, the beluga warmed up to him and became extremely possessive of him. She only gives kisses to the male worker and no one else. Number 5. Egbert the Octopus Even an octopus can fall in love. Yes, you heard that right. In 2018, Aloha Koistra met an octopus and named him Egbert. In her first encounter, she observed that he was just a bundle of nerves and muscles. He was not much larger than her hand and hid inside a conch shell but he carefully watched her with his two protruding eyes. Initially, she restrained herself from interfering with the octopus. But in this case, her curiosity was just irresistible. She then started offering Egbert a few scraps of fish, which he accepted happily. In the following weeks, Koistra regularly started visiting him. Then, as bonding grew, she started filming all their encounters with the GoPro and only returned to the sea surface to breathe. As Koistra started trusting Egbert, he began holding her fingers. What makes this story quite unique is the fact she had many other encounters with other octopuses, but found them quite aloof. But Egbert was unlike any other she has met. Number 4. Emmy's Love for Her Pet Python When we hear of pythons, we don't really think of pets. Given their fearsome reputation in the wild, that's very obvious. But exceptions do happen. Meet Emmy Talca, who is quite special among girls of her age, and so is her father, Ed. Ed always wanted his daughter to tackle dangerous situations, and that is why he trained her to remain fearless of snakes. Emmy loves her pet albino python and named her Cher. She loves playing with her unusual pet. Though being close to snakes is quite frightening, Emmy has no qualms about kissing, hugging, and even watching television with the serpent. Although Ed trusted his daughter, he still had apprehensions about keeping Emmy alone at night with the python. Things were going smoothly when one fine morning, Cher stopped eating abruptly. After a thorough examination, it was found that he was no longer interested in small-sized food and wanted to have large meals, just as a wild python wants. Emmy was heartbroken after this news, but the matter was partly resolved by installing a large terrarium for Cher at home. Now, any kind of interaction between the two takes place strictly under camera supervision. Number 3. Haley's Love for Her Backyard Tigers Tigers are some of the most fearsome predators in the wild, and the whole world knows it. But they do fall in love. This is an amazing story of Janice Haley, a woman in Florida, who has tamed two pet Bengal tigers, Janda and Saber. Saber is a white tiger weighing a whopping 600 pounds, while Janda is a female orange Bengal tiger. 
Janice's love for her tigers is so strong that she quit her job as an admin assistant to spend more time with them. She also got trained in a tiger training institute. Now, she uses her backyard as a place to relax with her two tigers. It is even more adorable to think that the owner hand feeds the tigers thrice a day. The tigers show off their love for her by showering kisses. Number 2. Jessica the Hippo This real story is so unbelievable that calling it a miracle would not be an exaggeration. Owners Tony and Shirley Jabbard have raised a hippo. They saved the infant's life during the devastating floods in Mozambique in 2000. Right after her birth, Jessica was swept downstream and was badly exhausted. After rescuing it, Tony gave her a drink consisting of egg yolk, cream, and full cream cow milk. From then onwards, the couple decided to tame her because they thought that she may not survive in the wild. Today, Jessica is one of the most famous hippos of South Africa and has played the lead in several National Geographic, Sky News, and BBC documentaries. She also made it to The Oprah Winfrey Show. More than 90 documentaries have already been made on her. Jessica sleeps in her owner's house, and she is friendly to human beings, even allowing them to approach her safely. Number 1. Babia the Temple Crocodile In the Indian state of Kerala, there lives an extraordinary crocodile named Babia. Living inside the premises of the Sri Ananda Padmanabha Swami Temple in Kasarge district, she eats only vegetarian food offered to the gods and nothing else. Chandra Sakaran, an employee of the temple, claims that the crocodile is harmless and does not attack at all. The crocodile has increased the popularity of the place manifold. Herds of devotees now throng the temple and pay their respects to the divine crocodile. Babia is more than 70 years old now and resides in the pond inside the temple premises. The priests in the temple have developed a great relationship with the crocodile and regularly take a dip in the pond without any worries. Now that truly requires a shocking level of trust between the croc and the priests. That's all for today, folks. Tell us if you have heard of any such stories of strange and adorable friendships between men and animals. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you loved what you saw. Also, in case you are interested in such videos, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon for more notifications. May you have a great day, and we hope to see you again in another thrilling video.